Yo, I want to talk what I've been playing. How about that? Let's do it. What you been so, playing, Brian? What I've been like doing instead of grinding Destiny. Instead of hitting yeah, 750 in Destiny. Very angry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, one of the fun announcements that came out of E3 was uh, the Lego um, update. It's not an update. It's an expansion pack. It's the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions. The uh, Realism Breaker update. Yeah, the Realism Breaker. <laughs> Got so, it. Um, mm. If you have Game Pass Ultimate or if you have Game Pass for PC, Forza Horizon 4 is actually free on PC. Uh, and then Lego Speed Champions is about uh, $18 to download just the the expansion uh, on top of that. So, you know, if you already have Horizon 4, not a bad deal. So, you know, it's a pricey expansion, but it's got a lot of content in it. And what it does is it opens up a new zone in Forza Horizon 4 that is completely Lego themed, right? Mm. The buildings are made out of Legos. The plants are made out of Legos. The cars are made out of Legos. Like everything, like there's, uh, you know, tractor trailers that are Legos. It's that's cool. just completely Lego themed. Like not everything, like the ground is still ground, right? It's still the, you know, it looks like realistic ground. The mountains in the distance are still, you know, realistically rendered mountains in the distance. But for the most part, the stuff around you, the stuff that you're actually going to crash into is all made out of Legos, which makes the racing actually incredibly fun because you lose this, you lose the the feel of like, oh, this is super serious time. No, man, I'm racing a Lego car. Lego Ferrari. And yeah, well, no, I've got a Mini Cooper that's made out of Legos. Nice. <laughs> and the thing goes like 180 miles an hour. It it handles like a Ferrari <laughs> for some reason. Well, it's Legos. Yeah. And <laughs> it's completely charming. When I play racing games... I usually go for the cockpit view because, like, you know, I want to be, like, kind of immersed in it. I want to feel like I'm actually driving, you know, a, a Lamborghini Diablo, you know, around a course. And I'm cornering and I'm I'm trying not to actually touch other cars because I'm trying to actually, like, pretend in my mind this is a race. You, yeah. But once you put me in a Lego car, things change a little bit. The stakes change a You're little hitting bit. hitting everything, right? right? All of a sudden... When I hit another car and bricks are like flying around off off of the cars, like that's fun. That adds to realism. So I pull back on the camera so I can actually see my car. You know, like have that follow chase camera. That's cool. And and I actually race that way. It's it's actually pretty fun. It you know it doesn't change the formula of Forza Horizon a lot. You still kind of have this open map and you drive to different events around the map to, uh, in this case, earn bricks. You can build a house and a garage and that kind of stuff. Um, wow! Kind of yeah. as your home, but you're not actually building it like you'd build Legos. Like you're kind of selecting from pre-made, okay, yeah, ha- structures. So you're not actually like putting these things together. Um, but it's pretty fun. Like there's a bunch of different Lego cars. And they're all based around. How do you Lego earn cars. the Lego cars? Um, you got to basically just compete in different events, and you kind of upgrade your Lego skill set. Okay. And uh, they just unlock for you over time. So it's like a whole. It's like a separate uh, car tree that you're unlocking, essentially. There's a car tree. For every mm-hmm. race that you finish, you're earning bricks um, that go toward your your the building of your house and the building nice. and, and unlocking cars. When you go cockpit That's view, cool. is it actually all yeah. Legos, like detailed Lego? Yes. If you go cockpit view in a Lego car, the car awesome. is made out of Lego. Uh, the thing that's really that's missing cool. here, though, is that there's no VR support in for- Forza Horizon mm. 4. Which mm-hmm. really blows because, like, at this point, I've moved on to um, Drive Club on PlayStation VR, and I've been playing a lot of Dirt Four on uh, the Vive. And while I think that Forza Horizon Four is like a better driving game as a package, there's just more to it, and it's yeah. it's more fun because of the structure of it. And they got Legos. Now. I do miss having VR, especially for driving games. There's there's something about glancing up at a rearview mirror ris- realistically oh, that's cool, yeah. or like turning over to see like the car that you're racing is right next to you as opposed to like pushing over on a stick or you know pushing a button to see yeah. next to you like i think that driving games benefit from vr in like a huge way I can and the see next sports for sure. game won't be the horizon series it'll be you know like the the realistic style forza horizon or forza you know whatever mm-hmm. they, they do kind of like those two series of forza it's like horizon is the more goofy one or the more fun one mm-hmm. and then forza what is it called uh i think it might just be called forza motorsports where it's more about like racing on tracks and okay yeah realistic racing real about things yeah. yeah yeah 
But I've always preferred the Horizon series because I did a lot of Gran Turismo back on like the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, which is all just tracks, like ultra realistic, trying to like get the perfect line and all that. Whereas the Horizon series, you're, you know, you're just blasting through town. You're, you, when you hit rocks, rock walls and stuff, you don't just stop. The rock wall just explodes and you keep going through the countryside. You know, like it's that's perfectly it's just realistic. Meant to be more <laughs> fun and more, fun. more, um, <laughs> That's it's like, it's the same fun. reason I enjoyed, you know, Need for Speed when exactly. I could have giant wheels and just do what I wanted to do. Exactly. It's exactly. the fantasy of racing versus the realism yeah. of racing. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want right. to be on a racetrack. Yeah, you don't so want to like, collide with the fun. wall and die. That's not fun. <laughs> there's fun in both. You know, like there's fun <laughs> in being like ultra precise and like really trying to like learn where the apex of turn four is exactly true, true, true. where where to come out of turn four so that you set up yourself perfectly for turn five. You know, like, that kind of stuff is fun, but it's mostly memorization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, the more arcade racers like Need for Speed or or Horizon 4 are more about just reacting to what's in front of you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, So there's less... So you can just... For me, it's easy... It's more fun at this point in my life to just jump into a couple races on Horizon and not have to memorize the course to get good at it. But to just react to what's happening, and now with the Lego expansion, it just adds this feeling of joy. That's you know, cool. like this feeling of like <laughs> it's really fun. So, I, mean, I highly recommend. Briar's over there in his Lego car, giggling along. We need a Briar Lego <laughs> yeah. stream. Ferrari Friday. Yeah, that's what the people need. Yeah, yeah. for every, they do, every Friday. They do have Ferraris. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ferrari Friday with Briar Lego edition. Did you ever play? <laughs> it? So I, I haven't played a lot of racing games, so I, I'm very. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not very familiar with what's available right now, but did you ever play uh, Road Rash way back in the day? Yeah. You know, on the Genesis? Yeah. I, yeah. I'm i still surprised that there hasn't been a Road Rash revival. Like somebody mm. I'm surprised hasn't too. taken that franchise and brought it forward and like been on bikes and kicking people like on the – that was so cool. Like you, it was like combat racing, and I feel like that could totally work in today's setup. Like if you have that open world, yeah. open road type of thing and – you have these uh, other bikes or cars coming up, and you have these abilities to kick them and all and upgrade your stuff. Like, that would be, I'd play that. You know what game I really liked that's, I, you know, in the realm of racing is the micro machines. Like, Ooh, way yeah. back in the day, where you had yes. the tiny little cars and you're driving on like a, a desk or a bookcase or something. I love Yeah, that was fun. I love that's that. kind of the feeling I get from playing Lego, actually. It's like a very mm. similar, like, I'm playing with that. toys here. <laughs> yeah, you know, like it, yeah. it, it adds a level of joy, like a, a level of. I'm, I'm struggling to find find the right word, like frivolity. Maybe I don't know exactly what the word is, but it, it's a ton of fun. It just it just takes you it takes you out of like being super serious about winning this race and look at this Lego like cow like bashing Lego cow pieces. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Uh, you know, like the trees are made out of, like, you know, do you remember like the Lego set trees that are like, they're like the green yep, kind do. of pine trees and it's just one piece and it sticks on to the ground. Yep. That thing goes flying in the air. It's just hilarious. So I didn't know this, but apparently Road Redemption actually came out in 2017. It is like a spiritual successor. Oh, really? To Road Rash. I wouldn't mind checking that out. Huh. I'm going to have to check this out. I had no idea. This is crazy. I wonder if it's any good. It got a 9 out of 10 on Steam. Oh, 5.7 out of 10 on IGN. 59% Metacritic. Ooh. I mean, Fran was a part of IGN. Do we believe IGN? I think this Mm, might be an acquired taste. Highly questionable. (laughs) 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 I'm going to put that on my checkout list right there. See if it's any good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. So. Might as well. Legos in Forza. Sounds like a good time. It is. It's a pretty good time. Some people were a little upset, though, Briar, weren't they? Why would people be upset that Legos were in Forza? Because they go to Forza for a realistic experience. You know, the graphics so realistic, and then they turn to the left, and there's some laughing man in a Lego car, and it's Briar. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can totally see if they did, like, the mainline Forza series, the, the Forza Motorsports, like which is really super serious, and yeah. it's all about, like, you know, tuning your suspension just right so you can you can really like cut the corner on turn two and you don't fly in the air on Laguna Seca. You know, I can understand that. Like that those people who are super into the the Forza Motorsports series getting upset if they were to add like something really ridiculous 
to yeah. it. However, Forza Motorsports or Forza Horizon is like the kind of the side series, which is much more frivolous. It's much more fun. It's it's all about just like living out these fantasies. You know, in the last one, Forza Horizon 3, they added Hot Wheels to the game. Mm. You know, yep. so like all of a sudden there's like Hot Wheel cars running around and there's Hot Wheel tracks. Yeah, with the loop to breaking some uh, immersion there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, not to me. All of a sudden I can live out my childhood fantasy of actually driving around on these Hot, hot Wheels you know, like tracks and stuff. Yeah. And I, I think like that's super fun. The guys are playing the wrong game. Then they need to go play the serious Forza game and leave the leave the Horizon for all the silly stuff. There's totally like there's there's room out there for like all types of these games, like Project yeah. Cars or even I Racing. If you're really serious about racing games, you need to just like ditch Forza altogether and go over to I Racing, which is a monthly fee just to play it. Is fully VR compatible. Wow. Sets up to one of those racing, you know, simulators with the with the moving chair to simulate G forces. Like, oh what the fuck God. are you doing? <laughs> if you're the kind of person who are, who's upset about Legos being in Forza, you're probably playing the wrong game. You need to get into iRacing racing and like, you know, just like let's go full series about this here, folks. <laughs> what have you been doing with your <laughs> racing life? Jesus, <laughs> right? What are you even doing? <laughs> like, yeah. You're definitely playing the wrong game. Playing the wrong game. It actually sounds cool. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's oh, cool. iRacing is intense, man. That's cool. Yeah. I, I wouldn't like that for like a flying simulator. I would be terrified. Mm. Don't want to crash like your Boeing 747. Move? No. I don't want to feel the crash as I'm terrible at the game. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the first time I tried out um, VR or real, it was I think it was called Project Cars with VR in it. The first car they put you in is a go-kart. You know, like those really fast mm, go-karts. Cool. Race. <laughs> yeah. The problem was, is those things don't have any suspension. So they're just like, da -da 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 you know, like really like fast vibrations. Yep. And I got the headset on and that thing's going, da -da 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 -da. Oh, <laughs> and wow. I'm like, whoo, whoo, whoo. <laughs> big breaths, big breaths. Take this thing off. I never played Project Cars with the, with the VR on again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh yeah, how um I feel like getting nauseous in racing games with VR is got to be pretty common, right? Cuz you're going fast. I think it it totally depends on how they do it. For me, mm -hmm. I play Dirt 4, which is a rally racing game, right? So you, there's a lot of bumps and there's a lot of you do actually take jumps in those cars. Mm -hmm. I don't get sick at all playing that game. Oh, interesting. Um so I I think it's about you know how they actually handle the VR. They've got to smooth out the experience a little bit for you. Yeah. Um also, being in the car and, like, seeing your dashboard and your steering wheel and, like, all the controls, aside from being super cool because it actually feels like you're sitting in, you know, a, a Mini Cooper or a Subaru WRX race car, it also kind of plants you in that world in a way. It makes it feel... Yeah. More grounded in reality. More thing. grounded, right, yeah. Yeah, I, I think the just the creation of VR games in general is really interesting because you, mm. have to, you have to employ completely different techniques of making video games. You can't just say, you know, yeah, let's put teleportations in here everywhere because mm. that's going to disorient the players and make them feel nauseous. So I find it really, really interesting for just how VR games are going to come along in the future. Yeah, so yeah it's, it's completely the, different how you make those games. Some of the first batch of PlayStation VR games, I can't remember. There was one specifically that I streamed, actually, that made me so nauseous so quickly. And all it was, it was like a first-person kind of, you know, investigation-type game. And oh, it was all in black yeah. and white. But the way the player walked through the yep. world just instantly made me nauseous. Jeez, and I've never yeah. gone back to the game because yeah, you know, nobody wants to be like that. Even, even... Also... Simple things like walking, you can't, you have to really think about how you're going to create that for the player because yeah. we get motion sick very easily. Yeah. So you know, what's interesting is a lot of games have solved motion sickness by actually using the controls where you grab, you use your arms as legs. Oh, and that yeah. apparently helps you with motion sickness because you mm -hmm. actually feel like you're moving as opposed to just standing still and upright. Yeah, and then all I'm of a sudden moving. your player starts moving. You're like, whoa, yeah. what yeah. the heck is it? That makes sense. Yeah, it's big. That I remember uh, the first time I tried Google Earth out in VR. I, the first thing I went to do is like stand on top of some of the world's tallest buildings and just like check out the view. Yeah, I had to kneel on the ground because <laughs> it was like, this is like, whoa, man, I'm so high up here. <laughs> it was crazy. I showed it to my wife and she had no problem with it. I, I'm a little scared of uh, heights anyway. Ah. 
Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool. It's really cool what you can do. Yeah. Yeah. 